Good morning, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV, and I am fired up today because yesterday I did a video showing people what their health care options are and how they can find some health care maybe they could afford right now. And today I'm going to do one on 20 plus remote jobs that anybody can do right now. I have to tell you guys, I was feeling a little dumpy last night, you know, like probably a lot of us are, and I went in and read some of the comments on yesterday's video, and I was really glad that I waited to film today's video until I could see some of those responses. And I have to tell you, you guys just made my night, and um, it's because of you I'm so fired up today because you had the best questions about remote work. A lot of us have to find remote work right now. And there are a ton of opportunities out there, and not just for people that have technology skills or degrees. I am going to give you over 20 actual real jobs that you could go this afternoon and apply for where you can find remote work right now and get paid. And 15 of those are going to be available to subscribers of my blog with the actual links to apply. So if you're not already subscribed to creativityrv.com, please do jump over there. If you're already subscribed, you go up to the top. There's a link that says subscriber only resources where I put all of my spreadsheets and extra stuff. So an actual chapter from my book for free, which is work from home while you roam, is going to be available in that section of my blog. Okay, let me get right to it, you guys, because I've got a lot of stuff to show you. I also got a lot of questions over there about if you need a degree or a GED to do these jobs. No. If you have a degree or some specialized skills, the job opportunities widen for you. But today, I'm going to focus on people that are not doing remote work, or maybe they are and they need some extra, you know, cash. Um, I want to focus on the people that need to start making money right away. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of fun stats. If your boss right now is on the fence about remote work or they're trying to decide if remote work is good for their employees, go ahead and give them this stat. According to FlexJobs, employers can save $22,000 a year on each employee if they let them work remote because of infrastructure costs and things like that. And remote workers are more productive People who work from home are 87% more likely to love their job, and 75% of telecommuters earn more than $65,000 a year, putting them in the upper 80% of workers. By the way, these are all stats from the book. If you want the sources, they are in the back of the book. As always, I list my sources. Um, and if you guys saw my recent TED Talk, you know I quoted this stat. The HR consulting firm Mercer surveyed a bunch of employees and 63% of them said that they always, sometimes, or often take part in unhealthy behaviors like drinking or crying regularly to get through their workplace stress. <laughs> so, you know, maybe you just want to leave your job. Maybe you're being forced to leave your job right now and things are unsure and you want to make money. Um, here's the good news. Remote work has increased 159% since 2005, 63% of U.S. companies now already have remote workers, and hiring managers expect it to go up 168% in the next 10 years, and I bet more now. I think, you know, after a lot of companies get a taste for what it's like to have remote workers, I would bet in a few years it's going to be there's going to be even more of a surge. So you're going to get ahead of it right now. A few of you commented about how you had searched through websites like Flex Jobs or Upwork, trying to find some remote work, and it was just completely overwhelming. You know, I have a chapter um, in the book on this. It's called The Big Five and How to Navigate Them. Here's what you need to know. If you go and do a Google search for remote work, it comes back with a massive 500,000 listings. How are you supposed to find your dream remote job in there? Well, places like Flex Jobs and Upwork are basically aggregators of other job sites. So there's job boards, job sites, employment marketplaces, 
and you'll see the same jobs over and over and over again and by the time they get there a lot of them are filled or expired um, which is why it makes it so tough and another reason I wrote this book and to answer some of the other questions yes you can read it on your PC you do not need an e-reader here it is for me right here I'm reading my actual book on my computer and you can get it on your phone, you can get it on your tablet. It's not only available on Kindle Unlimited, I don't know how that rumor got started. I'm not gonna just give you guys some ideas of what kind of remote work is out there. That's not what I do. Let's get right to the jobs I'm really excited to tell you. There's a chapter in the book called 15 Gems You Must Not Miss. Now, I've gotta tell you guys, I made this chapter because people do not know what's out there. So this chapter was really me trying to pick 15 jobs out of the 300 something jobs in there to give people an idea of the wide range of jobs. And I thought that chapter was perfect for us today. So I'm gonna give you the jobs in that chapter. Again, this actual chapter is available over at my blog. And then I picked a few more than five more to tell you about. Otherwise this video would be hours long. Now, let's get into the jobs. Let's go to the chapter in the book 15 gems you must not miss. Here, some of these might apply to you, some of them might not. Some of them might be good for your kid or your friend or one you can put in your back pocket for later. So um, if you hear one that doesn't apply to you, hold on. I guarantee you there will be one that will. I felt like my back was turned to you, so I decided to pull it up on my phone. See, you can put it on your phone. I categorized everything by skill level, job type, and keywords so you could search in your e-reader for whatever you need um, a lot of these are low skilled which serves our purposes so the first one analesia.com fits that category good morning boy the cat okay analesia provides feedback on website and app performance by providing real world testers per analesia they accept anybody with an internet connection and a microphone, we accept a good variety of users from many locations and many different profiles. So testers for Analesia surf the site of their client while providing audio and or video of their experience. Testers can expect to receive invitations to participate in a few tests each month. The tests generally take 15 minutes for which the tester is paid $10 via PayPal. Like I said yesterday, you guys, if I were gonna be doing myself a lot of these little micro gigs, I would apply to all of these sites with a special email because a lot of them notify you like this one does via email when tests or surveys or whatever are available. So if you sign up for 15 or 20 of these, every day you could go into your email and see which, you know, couple, three surveys or tests are available. Keeps gas in the tank, people. Second gem. Certified Field Associates. CFA provides secret shoppers and on-site evaluations for movie theaters. Now, I don't know. This is in the chapter. We'll see what happens with movie theaters. Um, but it's in the chapter, so I'm going to give it to you. Associates receive emails notifying them of assignments in their area. Any assignment can be accepted or declined. Um, offers include being a mystery shopper, checking the trailers are played before movies, counting how many patrons there are and more. Um, each assignment includes information and the different pay. Usually pay ranges from seven to $15 per hour and you get to go to a movie for free. Okay, the next one is a really good one uh, right now. Declutter. Now Declutter is a reselling site, but it's not the only one. I have an entire chapter on this. You would not believe what's out there that you can resell for a profit just online. So Declutter is a site that purchases specifically phones, tech products, CDs, DVDs, games, books, and the big money maker Legos. So if you guys have any of these, you're trying to downsize to hit the road, or you like to go to thrift stores, um, or you can get them from some other source, you get them and then you actually email the website declutter and they tell you if they want the item and how much they're going to pay. If accepted, they send you a UPS um, label free 
And as the seller, you put the label on, you send it to declutter, and the following day, they pay you through PayPal or direct deposit into your bank. Okay, I have to tell you guys, the next one is one of my absolute favorites. Um, there's only one company I found that does this, but Drone Base hires freelance drone pilots. Now think about this. I know a lot of nomads have drones. Um, they just wanna take footage of their experience. Well, if that's you and you bought that expensive drone, think about how many businesses now need drone pilots. I'm insurance companies don't send in adjusters up to roofs anymore a lot. They use drones to look at the damage or businesses, real estate, um, all kinds of things. The businesses themselves don't want to hire somebody to fly a drone. That is not cost effective. So they use this freelance platform, drone base, and um, find drone pilots. Now, Pilots must have a 107 license, which is a remote pilot certificate, but you get that through the FAA. You know, um, the, the listing here has the links of how to do that. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but I think it was like 100 bucks, maybe 35 to take the test and 100 bucks to register. But then you tell Drone Base where you are, nomads, and they tell you what missions are in their area. They use their own drone to fly the mission, they upload the media to drone base, and then they get paid. Um, pay varies by assignment. Okay, you guys, this is another one that I absolutely loved when I was doing this research. The next gem is eJury. Listen to this. eJury helps attorneys prepare for trial by providing mock juries and focus groups. Potential jurors must take an oath stating that they are not signing up under false pretenses, verifying their identity and a complete demographic profile. E-Jury is available for residents in all 50 states who are U.S. citizens over 18 years of age that have never been convicted of a felony. Sorry, Canadians and felons. Um, those near major metropolitan areas are likely to have more opportunities to participate, important, after reviewing a case online, they complete a six-page study and are paid five to ten dollars. Now look, like I said, these side hustles are not going to pay a lot, but gosh, doesn't that sound interesting? <laughs> okay, the next one is for photographers. Now a lot of you guys take beautiful photographs. I follow you on Instagram, you follow me, and a lot of people want to make money with their photographs, but it seems really difficult. Well, in the book, I have information on a couple of other places you can also sell your photographs, but for today, I'm gonna to tell you about FOP. For these websites, you can make a couple of bucks or you can build up a portfolio and actually really make a nice living. Some of the other online places like uh, Shutterstock pay you more the more you sell because a lot of newbies try and get in and they kind of overwhelm the system. They want serious people and that's why they do that. But um, for FOP, FOPE allows photographers to sell their work to companies in the FOPE marketplace. Photos sell for up to $10 a piece, and FOPE splits that revenue with the photographer on a 50-50 basis. Now, this is important to know. These online resources, a lot of them, do not charge you... I just saw my finger go out. They don't charge you to be on the website. Some do, and I have information on pay-for-play. Um, in the book, but a lot of them go ahead and provide the infrastructure for the website and the marketing and allow you to upload your stuff, whatever it is, writing, artwork, whatever. There's a bunch of stuff like that for free. And then they split the revenue with you or a lot of them take like 15%, 30%. In this case, they split it with you 50-50 so you can make $5 for every photo you sell. I'll tell you this, in the research that I did, look, there, there's a lot of beautiful photos of like mountains, and I know a lot of us take a lot of nature photos, but I think where people make a lot of money is photos of like a pen and a cup of coffee. Or think about what businesses need to put in like a blog post. Content online is everything and they need images for that. So it could be a happy person, it could be somebody with a walker, it could be anything, okay? Um, but 
you're going to have a lot of competition if you just do nature photos. But um, FOP also runs platform missions, which require you to do a certain type of photo because they're not getting that content. And then um, they reward photographers $100 to $500 if they win. The next job is iTalkie. I mentioned yesterday that you could chat, you know, on your phone with maybe a student in China and get paid for it because they need to practice conversational English. I had a couple of people say, yeah, I applied for that. I didn't get hired. Well, maybe it wasn't this one. Um, I have a whole chapter on this in the book, and I think I have over 40 resources, and they tell you what accreditation you need. For example, italki. This is a good one for newbies. That's why I chose it. Italki connects individuals and businesses across the globe with language teachers via webcam lessons. Teachers apply through the desktop version of italki. To become a teacher, you sign up at the top of the page. You have to film a demo lesson. Almost all of them make you do that, as you would expect, and um, fill out an application. Once you're accepted, teachers create a profile through which students can hire them. So look, if you don't have teaching credentials, but you had business credentials, or you worked in an office, or whatever, a grocery store, there are business people out there in other countries that need to practice that kind of language with you. So just know that. Um, just your, your profile is everything. Compensation varies by class and skill level, and italki retains 15% of the lesson. Uh, I'm going down because there's a lot of info. Two types of teachers are accepted, professionals and community. The professional teachers um, do require a certification. If you need more information on certification, it's in the book, including links to get the certification, as well as, by the way, a Beijing timetable. Because a lot of the teaching jobs are taught, let's say, 5 p.m. in China. Well, that might be 6 a.m. where you are, so you need to know that. Um, but the community teaching position on italki does not require a degree or a certification. Um, it, it's a great platform for native North American speakers to get experience. And then you can take that experience and go get another teaching job. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I know a lot of you are interested in the online teaching, whether it's teaching English to people overseas or tutoring, stuff like that. I have to tell you guys, I taught English as a second or foreign language for eight years. And a couple of other people commented yesterday that they did the same. And I want to tell you guys, I don't have a TESOL certificate, but I was hired by the Department of Education in Colorado to teach and also a university in Costa Rica where I taught um, to university students and businesses. So how I did that is I started volunteering in college for um, Literacy Plus and the course Literacy Program. Somebody else in the comments said that that's how they got started. I think it was... Um, Oh, gosh, I forget. Some other state's literacy program. You do that as a volunteer for a few months, and then you have the cred to go and teach an actual class. So um, anybody who's got some spare time on their hands, you can actually volunteer now to be a teacher, um, especially with literacy. So I won't give you those resources today, but know that that's out there and that can lead to better online teaching jobs. This is another good one for our purposes. Just answer. This is not a low skilled job like a lot of the other ones, but um, here's why I included it in the 15 gyms and I'm including it for you today. Think about what your skill set is in any job you've had. Just answer is a platform where there are 175 different categories where people with certain skills or expertise or knowledge can sign up and offer answers to people. Now, the most popular categories are tax, finance, law, mechanics, doctors, veterinarians, electricians, um, plumbers, and electronics and computers. Experts set their own schedule and compensation varies, but per Just Answer, top experts earn thousands each month resolving customer questions. Okay, here's another one, roadie. And this is just one example of an entire category for drivers. Rody is an on-the-way delivery service that connects clients with drivers. Rody drivers deliver items locally 
or across country on routes they are already driving, nomads. Items vary from bicycles to fine arts to pets. To apply, drivers must be over 18, pass a background check, have a social security number, a valid U.S. driver's license, sorry Canadians, and complete an online tutorial. Once approved, drivers download the Roadie app, and this is true of a lot of these things. Once you apply, you can find your job opportunities inside of an app on your phone. Um, you can review gigs. So basically the customer says, I need to pick up a dog from a breeder or something in Connecticut and have it brought to California. Well, let's say you're already going that way. You can bid for that. And those go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I think I saw one that was um, $6.50 to deliver a dog. And I mean, like puppies, who doesn't like puppies? Um, but it could be anything. Once the client accepts your offer as the driver, you receive notification to complete the gig. And per Rody, from side hustle to full time and everything in between, Rody is the most flexible way to earn money on the side. Whether you like driving local or long haul, the Rody app makes it easy to earn cash. Compensation varies, of course. Uh, most local deliveries pay between eight and fifty dollars, and long distance deliveries can pay six fifty or more. Payment to the driver is made three to five days after the delivery is complete and goes directly into your bank account. Okay, in 15 gems, I also included the sugar beet harvest, which some nomads might know about. Um, this is a seasonal job. There's an entire chapter on seasonal jobs. There are applications for U.S. people and Canadians in this one. But basically, every year, there's a sugar beet harvest that hires 1,300 approximately workers. Um, in North Dakota and Montana. A lot of these jobs for the sugar beet are labor intensive. So if that's not for you, don't do it. <laughs> if it is, great. But um, a lot of people can earn $2,500 in two weeks doing the sugar beet harvest. Um, they're paid through direct deposit or on a global cash card, and they pay for your campsite while you're there. Okay, you guys, here's one that's an example of a micro gig or a micro task, which is just a little tiny piece of a bigger job. This is the smart crowd. So the smart crowd uses a workforce of home-based independent contractors to enter client data. Freelancers can be assigned a wide variety of gigs based on demographics, education, area of expertise, and language skills. These gigs include validation, um, metadata tagging, online research, product testing, survey and translation. And don't be daunted by all those words, you guys. They want to know if you go over and search a business on Google, if the address is there, okay? Or they want to know, like I said yesterday, that that photo has a dog in it. That's what metadata tagging is. Uh, per the smart crowd, we offer you the ability to earn money by completing small tasks that you can fit into your schedule. You work for yourself on as many tasks as you choose from your own device, wherever and whenever you want. Um, pay varies by task and is paid once a month. Here's another interesting one. I know lots of people that have dreamed of doing this. Here's a way to break into voiceover work. Voices.com, and it's just one of a few, provides on-demand professional voice actors for a variety of projects like training videos, commercials, and promotional materials. You have to do a voiceover demo, and once you're accepted, um, you become a member. You can get a free membership to Voices.com and lots of other places like this, or you can get a professional membership. A free membership is a good way to test it out, you know, actually try and get some gigs, get some reviews, get more work. Um, professionals pay $4.99 a year. The difference is that they can apply for more gigs they can have contact with more customers. So I put voices.com in here because they do have a free membership so you can start out and see if you like it. Clients post a sample text for the voice actors and then you can do an audio audition and then they can choose you and the actor is paid 100% of the quoted fee via check or PayPal. Here's a fun one if you like wine. Wine Jobs USA is an employment marketplace for seasonal and contract jobs in the wine industry. Compensation and work hours vary by responsibility, blah, blah, blah. We'll see what happens with that. 
Okay, you guys, actually, when all of this quarantining started, this is the one that came to mind for me. If you have any kind of office skill at all, even if you're just great answering the phone, customer service, if you can type, um, this one, I think, will probably be growing and they're going to need people. This is Working Solutions. Working Solution provides a remote customer service workforce for its clients. This workforce is comprised of independent contractors who are trained in each client's business to provide improved customer satisfaction, efficiency, upsells, and to protect against unexpected business spikes and disasters. Let's say a business usually has in-person customer service, but now they can't. They need to have people do it over the phone and online. So you apply to Working Solutions, and when you're accepted, you get matched with a client or clients. You get trained in their business, and then you help their business over the phone online. Qualified contractors come from a variety of industries and earn anywhere from $9 to $30 an hour, depending on which program you're in. You'll have to go over to their site for that information. Um, to apply, you do an assessment, which is part of how they determine that. And um, they test your written and verbal skills. It takes less than an hour to complete. And once you're accepted, their agents um, determine their own schedule and work 100% from home. They're paid monthly by check or direct deposit. And finally, in the 15 gems, Ysense. Ysense is a market research company that pays participants a small fee to watch videos, complete online surveys, and small tasks like categorizing online images or completing web searches. Compensation ranges from $5 to $50 for completed surveys and tasks and is paid via a gift card. If cash is preferred, choose a PayPal or Payoneer gift card. So I want to say this also. Sometimes when you see these online microtask jobs, they'll offer gift cards for like dinner somewhere or Amazon, but most of them offer PayPal. If you get a PayPal gift card, you can deposit it or Payoneer. You can deposit it into your PayPal account and then put it right in your bank account. I'm gonna tell you about a few more that I picked outside of that chapter that people can do right now if they need to make some money online. The first one I wanna tell you about is actually two things, Amazon FBA and Amazon Flex. I have a whole chapter dedicated to Amazon. You know, did you know you can become an Amazon employee? Um, they have a whole division that hires people to work for Amazon remotely. Um, that's in there, there's a bunch of stuff. But you may have heard of Amazon FBA. If you go and shop on Amazon, you might see that there's a lot of things that are used or um, resold. Like for example, a lot of people have seen that people resell Trader Joe spices because they cost $2 in the store, but people that don't have access to a Trader Joe's who love their spices will pay eight or $9 online, right? Um, this is true of a lot of different products. So you have to pay $40 a month to be a member of FBA, but then you can find and list products to sell. So I know people that have done this by going to the closeout section at like Ross or something, finding products, listing them, like let's say cell phone cases are a big one, okay? Then the other one is Amazon Flex. I thought this one might be a good one because Amazon Flex hires delivery drivers who use their own vehicle, they're not in those Amazon vans, to deliver items when they get overwhelmed needing to do deliveries. Normally, they hire these drivers during the holiday season, but I know a lot of people are buying their stuff like toilet paper on Amazon right now and having it delivered. So if you're near, let's say an Amazon warehouse or a bigger city center, then you should check out Amazon Flex if you just want to go to the loading bay, pick up the boxes and deliver them to people's doors. That might be a good one. It pays great too. The next one I wanted to tell you about for our purposes is care.com. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with care.com. It's a freelance platform. You go ahead and create an account inside of the platform online where customers can discover you. Care.com does care for elderly people, but they also tutor and do babysitting. And oh my God, that would be huge right now. So I think because a lot more people are gonna have kids at home or they don't wanna have their parents, let's say, in a nursing home. If you have any caregiver skills and have any cred, even if you were just a mom or you took care of your mom, you know, while she was older, 
you can list that in a profile with a great photo of yourself. The, the trick, you guys, is to get some gigs, maybe price yourself a little bit lower, get some gigs, and get customer reviews. That is key, okay? Now, you can do this in a variety of areas if you're a nomad and you want to move around. The one thing I want to tell you about Care.com, though, is that unlike other platforms, they do not accept the money from the client and then pay you. They are not the middleman for pay that happens between the caregiver and the care receiver. So you've got to be real careful with that. Make sure that the customer is legit. They want to make sure you're legit and that you're going to get paid. Okay, the next one I wanted to tell you about is Click Worker. ClickWorker provides web research and data management for outside companies by providing human feedback on their websites. It is free for freelancers to sign up, fill out an assessment, and download the ClickWorker app to find micro jobs, which include a variety of tasks from taking surveys to proofreading, research, or categorizing website data, you know, like images, we've talked about that. Payment for completed tasks are credited to the worker's account and is paid via PayPal or direct deposit. Anybody can do this today through the Click Worker app. The next one I wanted to tell you about is Synergy RV Transport. And this is just an example. Um, in the driver's chapter, we have all kinds of RV transport jobs, delivery jobs, and pilot car jobs. You know those pilot cars that go ahead or behind the wide load? That's a thing, you guys. And uh, there, there are lots of jobs where you can do that in different locations, which is great for us. But Synergy RV Transport is one example. They hire both drive away and tow away RV delivery drivers. So here's the deal. Those RVs usually come from the manufacturer, like in, let's say, Indiana. You can apply to be a drive away driver, which means you're driving an all in one, like a class C or a class A, or a tow away driver, which means that you use your own truck to tow a fifth wheel to its delivery point. And they have a lot of different requirements, but most of them you have to be over 18 or 21 or 23. Everyone varies. You have to be able to pass um, a C dot physical, but that does not mean you have to have um, a, like a trucker special license. You don't. And they ask that you have experience usually driving one of these rigs. But if you're like me in my fifth wheel, I do. And by the way, people that do this full time make six figures, but um, you can do it seasonally. The next one I want to tell you about is Transcribe Me. Now, again, this is one example from transcription jobs. Now, I wrote a whole chapter on this because I know some people are disappointed when they look into transcription jobs because they need experience or they need to buy a foot pedal or they need um, to have special software. Every job is different. So I listed what the requirements are, um, but if you can type, um, then this is not a bad gig. Transcription jobs usually pay by how much is transcribed, not by the hour. So the faster you are, the more you're going to make. Um, more information on that in the book. But Transcribe Me, which is a site you can go to right now, hires brand new people with no experience. You have to take an assessment test. And um, then the good thing about this one is they give you little tiny micro tasks. They're not like, you know, big... Um, documents that you're having to transcribe or entire videos. They're like one, two, three minutes. So it's a really good one to go to if you just want to get a little bit of experience. But this is one that I know a lot of us can do because a lot of us can type. I mean, I don't know about you, but I had to take typing in high school. Okay, I'm scrolling. <laughs> I'm scrolling through the book. I'm only in the F so I have to get to the T. These are all jobs, you guys, all jobs. If you think that you can't find a remote job online, like one of my reviewers on Amazon said, if you can't make money using this book, you can't make money. There is a ton of jobs in here. Um, got him only on Q. Hang on, almost, almost to the T's. <laughs> Lots of jobs out there, you guys. Try My UI improves website and app usability by providing freelance testers who test the sites while being video recorded. It's like the other one I mentioned. Testers can expect to get a few tests each week, each pay $10, for 20 minutes of work per the company, all you have to do as a tester is be yourself. 
Use the test website exactly as you would in a real life situation and voice your thoughts and frustrations. Don't we all want to do that right now? Out loud so the site developers can understand your experience. Testers are paid every Friday via PayPal. I hope you guys can use this. I hope you're all doing well out there. Everybody stay safe right now. Stay healthy. Stay positive. Have happy travels and be free.